Hey crew, what's going on? I'm super excited because finally, Bubble has released their new responsive engine. I've been playing around with it and I think that uh, it's really going to catapult Bubble into new heights of usability and, and professionalism and, and what have you. So what I was trying to achieve back in 2019 using some code injection and I never made it, I never figured it out was to have this collapsing group take up the rest of the space available by making this pop up and disappear. So that's what we'll do today. Create a new page and make sure if you see the little blue icon next to your new page that you go to here, the UI builder responsive tab and upgrade to the new responsive engine in order to access the functionality required to make this happen. What this will do is it'll give you a, a new layout tab and you're able to pick a row from, from the page, uh, essentially making the page a container in which the groups you add will stack uh, horizontally. If you pick color, uh, as long as there's room, obviously. Now these are fixed. We're going to remove the fixed and we're going to make them rows and we're going to remove the fixed width um, uh, constraint. And then we're going to make the minimum width something more uh, usable. This is 260. Actually, I want it max 260. So let's keep this one at fixed width at 260. And this one can move around. Let's give them some colors just so we can see what's going on as we move the page around after we render it. And what happens essentially is that this group takes up the remainder of the space. Until, of course, we get here where it gets too small. So there's going to be some some fixes coming up in, in other tutorials. But for now, I just want to show you the collapse functionality that we've all been waiting for. Let's go collapse when hidden, animate the collapse operation, and slide left and right. And let's make it invisible on page load. And you can already see in the actual page that it was disappearing with the red group taking up the remainder of the page. So not visible on page load, we're gonna need a way to toggle it. What we're gonna do is just use the red groups workflow. So start edit workflow. When group B is clicked and group A isn't visible, then we're gonna show it. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, copy this, paste it here, show uh, is visible. And then we're going to hide it. I don't recommend using this function. Uh, use custom states and a yes, no toggle. It's more efficient and less cluttered in here. You can check out my other videos for ways to do that. Now, essentially, when we click group B, it'll toggle the visibility of, of this here. And let's actually use a gradient uh, left to right and red to uh, dark green and let's render that. I think that's pretty much it. Using the collapse operation, you can now toggle that. Isn't that precious? So have fun with it. And there's an upcoming tutorial on how to make uh, better pop out navigation menus coming up for you shortly. So stay tuned, but I'm really happy we finally have a solution for stuff like this and executed might I say, really, really well by the bubble team. Good job.